Hello, my name is Dr. Hans-Jürgen Clemens and on behalf of Motic I would like to welcome you to our product training on one of our most successful microscopes, the BA310 and the BA310 Elite version, both from our well-known BA series of upright microscopes for transmitted light applications. Both models are meant for usage in clinics, universities and all laboratories for life sciences. The aim of this video is to give you some general explanations about the products, give you some hints about how to use them perfectly and to get the maximum information out of your sample. So let's start with a general configuration of both microscopes. As you can see easily from the back, the pyramidal shape of the microscope body gives great stability while at the same time easy opportunity for carrying purposes. Regarding the eyepiece tube, you do have the choice between the binocular version without photo exit and the trinocular version. The trinocular version gives opportunity to mount a camera, either a single lens reflex camera or a camera from the well-known Moticam range. The light split in this case is 2080, means that 20% of light is going to the eyepieces, while at the same time 80% of the light goes to the photo exit. You can switch the lever to get 100% to the eyepieces. If it comes to the eyepiece tube, thanks to the Zedentop system, you may change the interpupillary distance from 48 to 75 millimeters. The butterfly movement of this tube allows you to adjust the viewing height for a comfortable seating while working. The eyepiece tubes have an inclination of 30 degrees, giving a perfect positioning for ergonomic seating. The eyepieces itself have a 10 times magnification and a field of view of 20 millimeters. Diopter adjustment is possible for plus minus five diopters. Thanks to the high eye point principle of the eyepieces, there is no problem for spectacle wearers to use the microscope. There is no need to take off the eyeglasses. Optionally, Motic offers eyepieces of 12.5 and 15 times ma magnification for both models. Additionally, we do have the opportunity to use several reticles for measuring or counting purposes. In the standard configuration of the BA310, we will find the plan achromatic EFN objectives. The Elite version of the BA310 carries the EC objectives with improved color fidelity, field flatness and contrast. All objectives of the BA series are derived from the CCIS infinity concept of MOTIC. This infinity concept allows to insert intermediate modules such as integrated cameras, fluorescence modules or multi-viewing devices between the tube and the stand itself. The standard packages contain the 4 times, 10 times, 40 times and 100 times magnification in bright field version. Optional objectives, optional magnifications are the 20 times and the 60 times. The stage of the BA310 has got a size of 175 by 140 millimeters and it is coated so that abrasion is minimal. The stage carries a slide holder, a double slide holder for two slides, which can be moved by the XY stage in a range of 76 by 50 millimeters. In the BA310 Elite, we find a regular stage with an area of 180 by 170 millimeters. The XY movement is 80 by 55 millimeters. The ergonomic positioning of the XY drive very close to the Z drive allows to keep your right hand at the same position while working on the microscope. Of course, in both models, it is possible to adjust the tension of the XY movement following your personal preferences. Below the stage, you will find an Abbey condenser with a numerical aperture of 1.25 and an iris diaphragm, which allows to adjust the contrast of the image following the preconditions of the sample. The condenser also carries a slot for a dark field slider or for simple face contrast sliders. The standard condenser is removable and interchangeable. So we can use a turret condenser which carries all phase rings including the dark field stop and the bright field position of course. The condenser carrier is focusable and centrable 
so we can follow all the requirements for a perfect cooler setup for perfect illumination. The focusing system of the microscope is located on both sides of the microscope. On the left hand side you will find a coaxial coarse and fine drive. The fine drive has a minimum step size of 2 microns. The innermost ring is meant for the tension adjustment of the coarse drive. On the right hand side of the microscope you will find a super fine focus which is driven just by your fingertips. Additionally you will find an upper stage limit stop which protects the sample and the objectives in case you are using higher samples just like counting chambers. This position can be set individually. Finally it comes to the illumination system. In both cases we do have an illumination following the so-called Köhler setup. What does this mean? The Köhler setup is based on the implementation of a so-called field diaphragm on the base of the microscope. This diaphragm allows you to define the illuminated area in correspondence to the objective in use. The idea is to reduce stray light, improve contrast and get a homogeneous background. The power of the illumination is regulated by a simple knob on the right side of the microscope. You can choose in the BA310 between a 3 watt LED version or a 30 watt halogen version. In the BA310 Elite we even go further. Here you can replace the halogen bulb by an LED module. Just pull out the bulb, plug in the LED module and that's it. On top of the light exit at the base of the microscope you can add on additional filters. The daylight filter comes with a standard package. You may loosen the ring and place the filter on top of the light exit. Then fix the ring again. We hope that this video has been useful for you. We invite you to visit us on our YouTube channel and of course on other social media platforms. Please also visit our website moticeurope.com for further information about Motic and the fascinating world of microscopy. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you soon.